Hey guys, what's up? And today we have the new LEGO Star Wars set information for 2021. So let's start with a set information and LEGO is not producing any new LEGO Star Wars battle packs in 2021. Yes, that's pretty sad in my opinion because I think battle packs are just one of the best kind of sets in the LEGO Star Wars theme. You get four minifigs for only about $15, which is one of the best deals so I hope this information is not true and we will see some battle packs in the future but let's start with the sets and the first set is set number 75295 a Millennium Falcon Microfighter and this time again with a Lego Han Solo minifig then we have another Microfighter 75296 but we don't know which vehicle this is going to be and both of these microfighters are going to be 9.99 then we get another plus four lego star wars set and this time set number 75297 and resistance x-wing and we can expect something like the x-wing that we already got in the plus four theme and this set is going to be 19.99 then we get another microfighter set number 75298 a tauntaun and an 8080 and we can expect something like the u bag that we got last year so it's cool that we get another star wars creature as well micro build then we have set number 75299 the mandalorian hero vehicle and i'm really excited to get another mandalorian set and this is only 30 dollars so we can expect a small build maybe it's a speeder or even a blurg, which would be really nice. And hopefully this set includes some cool new minifigs, for example Quill. Or it's based on the second season, but we will see in the future. Next we have set number 75300, another TIE Fighter. And this is not going to be 60 or 70 dollars, this is going to be only 40 dollars. Which sounds good, but this means that this TIE Fighter is a lot smaller and the cockpit seems to be the usual size but the wings are a bit smaller so it's more like the TIE Fighter in Rebels but I was really hoping for a Moff Gideon TIE Fighter so another Mandalorian set but it won't be one probably and the set will include three different minifigs and we have the same problem with the next set, set number 75301 another X-Wing and this set is not going to be about hundred dollars instead it's only fifty dollars so that means there is a big lack of detail and we only get two minifigs luke skywalker and r2 d2 a really boring set in my opinion because we got so many x-wing starfighters in the last years next we have set number 75302 another imperial shuttle and yes no ucs imperial shuttle and this is like the one that we got in 2015 but instead of a hundred dollars it's again not that expensive it will be 80 dollars which means the set is again a bit smaller then we have the first ucs set of 2021 and this is going to be set number 75303 and we all know that this is going to be the republic gunship and this set will be released on the 1st of may and will be $200. So I'm really excited for that. And we get some new helmets, which is pretty interesting for me because I really love the helmets that we got so far. Three in total, set number 75, 304, 305 and 306. But we don't know which helmets are going to be released. Probably someone like Darth Raider and one of them is going to be only $50 and two of them are $70, which mean, means that one of them is cheaper and one of them is more expensive than the last ones. But again, I'm really excited for these sets. There are a lot of cool possible characters and if you are interested in those helmets, check out my latest mocks. And the last set is set number 75. 307 not a buildable statue but we don't know the price yet and who this is going to be so i'm pretty excited about this again so in my opinion this wave is not the best i really love to see new 
Lego helmets and the buildable statue. And of course I'm going to get the Mandalorian set. And maybe it's a good way that the sets are not that detailed and cheaper. So it's easier to get the minifigs. So what do you guys think about these sets? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my Insta and see you in the next video. Bye.